Since MTV broadcast a story on the 2019 income tax rates, there had been much complimentary on social media regarding the rates of personal income tax are in force as of January 1st. A graph incorrectly stated that the employees earning up to 12,500 kina would be taxed at 22%. This graph, based on 2019 national budget documents and available on the Department of Treasury's website. Treasurer Charles Abel then clarified the rates of income tax, highlighting that the figures may have been an error in printing. The Treasurer pointed to the fact that the government had given employees at the lowest income level some reprieve. I want to clarify, nothing has changed in the tax tables. Nothing has changed in terms of the tax that government imposes except increasing the tax free from 10,000 to 12,500 kina per year. So up to 500 kina a fortnight, you don't pay any tax. But this has not gone down well with the trade unions. With the Papua New Guinea Trade Union Congress saying despite the increase in the tax threshold for the first and second tier levels, the majority of Papua New Guineans in the formal workforce will heavily be penalized. Going forward, 2019, the issue of tax will be a center, it'll be in the center stage of trade union movement, trade union congress. We intend to call all the affiliates together uh, in the early part of this year, in the first quarter of this year, to uh, raise our concerns. We believe most of our affiliates, all the unions in the public sector, in the private sector, shared the same concern. And they have been advocating those issues in their own individual uh, uh, way. But we at the Congress want to take that issue as a serious concern because we believe we've been heavily penalized. Through the 2019 national budget, employees earning 12,500 kina and less annually will not be taxed. This follows an increase of the tax-free threshold from the previous level of 10,000 kina. Employees earning 12,501 kina to 20,000 kina will pay 22% tax. This second tier tax bracket an increase from 2018 level of 18,000 kina. Employees earning 20,000 and one kina to 33,000 kina annually will be taxed at 33%. Those earning between 33,000 and one kina up to 70,000 kina annually will pay 35% tax. Employees who earn between 70,000 and 1 kina to 200,000 kina will be taxed 40%, and those whose annual income exceeds 250,000 kina annually will be taxed 42%. Well, so, what we've done is reduced uh, the tax that you're paying at 30%, which is the third level, and increasing what you're paying at 22%. So these two measures are decreasing income tax for wage earners at the lower level. But the other thing to understand is those same rates of tax apply to all wage earners. If you are uh, getting 40,000 or 70,000, it doesn't mean that you are paying tax at one flat rate. Everybody is taxed. While this has created debates on social media platforms, Treasurer Charles Abel clarified the rates and also justified the government's decision to increase the tax-free threshold as a way of putting back money into the pockets of the lowest paid employees in the formal sector. And that is to gradually bring some tax relief, um, uh, some relief from tax burden on our people, especially the people at the lower end of the scale. However, the unions are of the view that the income tax rates in Papua New Guinea are still too high, drawing on comparisons of PNG's second-tier income tax rates with that of Fiji, 
Australia and New Zealand. We understand there are tax relief by uh, government as announced by Treasury uh, Department and Treasurer in our recent budget and down. But having done a thorough research in the type of taxes we pay, we've identified there are publication of information, uh, sharing of information that there are going to be or there's going to be relief for workers on minimum or mi small or low bracket earnings. But we found out that on the other side of it, the point of sale will become a very serious issue. Whilst Papua New Guineans earning up to 20,000 kina pay a marginal tax of 22%, the second tier tax income tax rates in neighboring countries are as follows. 18% of those earning between 30,000 and 50,000 dollars in Fiji. 19% of employees earning between $18,001 and $37,000 in Australia, and 17.5% for employees earning between $14,000 and $48,000 in New Zealand. Thakla Gunga, National MTV News.